ladies and gents, it's me, Miss Zena Diva, and this is going to be a Love With Food unboxing. Hope you guys are seeing this video pretty clearly. I'm using my camera, I got a lamp in my face, I got a makeshift stand going on, but I really wanted to get this video out to you. I have been recording unboxings for Love With Food. I just got so busy during the holidays and never got a chance to post them. So if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure and give this video a thumbs up. That way I know that you guys like this content and then I'll post more. As you guys know, my first Love With Food box was a review. After that, I was sold. I subscribed. I've been paying my monthly membership. I'm loving it. If you want to know more information about the organization, there's tons of videos on YouTube. Or you can check out some of my previous videos, which I will link down below. Basically, um, Love of Food is an organization where you purchase one box of snacks. And for every box you purchase, they will donate to a hungry child through a food bank. Awesome, awesome cause. I'm all for it. I love it. Like I said, you can view so many videos on YouTube. So I really hope you guys like this video. I'm still on my healthy eating journey. I fell off just a little tad bit during the holidays, but you know how that is. You fall down, you get back up. You fall down, you get back up. I'm still doing pretty good with it. Love of food definitely helps me to stay on track with the um, healthy snacks because I love snacking. So yeah. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long, so you're not going to see me anymore. You're going to see what's in the box, and hopefully this box is a good box. I'll try to put snippets in the beginning of this video of some of the other boxes if I can find the footage from my phone. But please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and please share this video because sharing is caring. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and my season subscribers. Happy New Year 2015. So many videos I need to put out, but I'm rambling now, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you later. Bye! So, they always put an awesome, awesome brochure with the theme. And since this is a January box, this is all about 2015. So, the theme is Live, Laugh, and Restore. Inside, they always tell you what's in your box. And hopefully this is a good box. But we're going to find out. First thing I see is this contest for a $100 Amazon gift card. If you guys want me to put the rules in the box, let me know. Next, I see cassava pops. Yum! Only 100 calories. The flavor is sea salt. And it says that these are not fried or baked. They offer all the flavor of a typical chip with a fraction of the fat. So, of course, we love that. It's gluten-free, as you can see. Next, we have um, Stash Tea Premium, Breakfast in Pairs. And I am such a tea drinker. This is awesome, and I love the Stash brand. I actually have the variety pack, and I drink the double chai tea as well. And let's see what they have to say about that. It says it's ideal for that sleepy Sunday morning. It has notes of lavender and bergamot. Hmm, interesting. So this is a black tea, it seems like. Um, which might be good. Next we have a velvet truffle. I'm already noticing that this box has less full-size items, but it's okay. Velvet truffle. And let's see. Now, they said these are made of Peruvian chocolate. It's 99.97% uh, organic. 81% fair trade certified and 100% to die for. Next, I see a thing called Big Slice. Looks like it's an energy drink. Kettle cooked apples, ready to eat slices, chunks, and sauce, raspberry, hibiscus, and green coffee extract. A fruity refresher. So I'm wondering what this is. It says a simple delectable way to get your five a day eat a pouch on your way to yoga and say bye bye to those extra holiday pounds hmm. i'll have to see what this is exactly hmm, not bad 90 calories for one pouch looks like a a drink hmm, this might be good wonder if it needs to be refrigerated not sure next we have a chocolate brit and that looks like some dark chocolate nibs these are from the costa rican rainforest 
and they're bittersweet so that's that next we have a luna mini chocolate dipped coconut i believe this is a protein bar yeah you pretty much use it after a workout there's a lot of ingredients in here though it's gluten free next we have babalu in shell almonds so these are um in shell almonds they're full of protein and the only ingredients are almonds and salt so that's always a good thing less ingredients the better next is somersaults and i believe i've had some somersaults before and they were pretty good this is a salty pepper crunchy nuggets baked with sunflower seeds and toasted grains so this might be interesting it's non-gmo then you have the typical coupon so this box was actually not all that great but i'm just gonna do a quick overview here so you can see what's in the box i'll definitely put clips of my other boxes so you guys can see what they offer but that's my box right there thank you for watching bye so here is my box as i said before it is the taste the season tasting box and this is from december you got the Lita Bit Sweets, which is chocolate, sea salt, caramels. Yummy. And it says they're dark chocolate and they're chewy and chocolatey. And then you got this dark chocolate honey mint candy by Honey Acres. And that is peppermint and chocolate, um, which is the classic winner combination. And apparently it has a uh, raw honey as the sweetening factor. Then um, we have our organic hazelnut spread with cocoa and milk. Um, I've had something from this brand in a previous box before. Um, it was a spread, I believe. It was like strawberry or something preserves. Um, this is organic hazelnut by Nokia Lotta. And it's an Italian chocolate hazelnut spread. Not sure what I'm going to use it on, but it sounds delicious. Next we have all natural crunchy cookie chips. These look so, 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 so good. Um... So, it says they taste like cookies, yet they crunch like chips. They're 120 to 130 calories per serving, um, and they're baked to perfection, non-GMO. So, looks like this one may be a good one. I love cookies, and I love chips, so go figure. This is probably going to be the perfect combo, and the bag is a pretty good size. Excited to try that. Next, I'm seeing something else, which is a favorite of mine. Um, we have kettle corn. Y'all just don't know how much I love popcorn. Like, I love it. Um, it says, a kettle corn is by Oogie's. Like snowflakes glistening in the sun, the evaporated cane sugar dusted with salt on this non-GMO popcorn will have you saying ooh in no time. Okay. Well, we're going to see. It's a pretty good size bag. It's three ounces. All you need, really. Um, it says it's three servings per container. I don't know about that. 110 calories. Whole grain. Fiber. Cholesterol free. Hmm. And as you guys see, the first ingredient is premium popcorn. That's what you guys want to look for. You don't want sugar or high fructose to be number one. So, yeah. This is a good one. Next, we have um, pitted green olives with herbs. Now, guys, well, divas and gents, I cannot stand olives. I don't know. I just don't like them. Um, these are apparently authentic Greek olives that are cured for months. I may try them out. They have antioxidants in them. This one is gluten-free. It's from uh, Greece, but I'm not sure that I'm going to like these. Ladies, let me know. How do you eat these? I mean, I guess it's an acquired taste. So, yeah, nevertheless, that's in my box. We have more of these dark chocolate candies. I'm going to definitely take those to work along with those sea salt caramels. And then we have, um, oh, yum, espresso candy um, by Bally's Best. And these are made with Sumatra coffee. Isn't that something? So that'll be interesting. And then we have dark chocolate coconut by Next. Hmm. Forget the mistletoe. Sharing this chocolate-covered coconut with someone you love is sure to earn you a smooch. Hmm. Now, coconut, I sometimes like. I sometimes don't. But I'm pretty sure I'll like this one because it's dark chocolate. Um, 123 calories. About five pieces. Not too, too terribly bad. And then, if any of you have dogs, they have a 
bark box now <laughs> how cute is that you get dog goodies to your house so you and your dog can live well and of course at the bottom they always have awesome coupons and um no need for me to really talk about love with food because i've done several videos on it um i hadn't posted in a while because i wasn't sure that you guys wanted to keep seeing me do these videos but if you do go ahead and give this um video a thumbs up and um i love love with food because for every box you purchase they do donate to a food bank which i believe is an awesome cause I actually discovered them i believe it's probably um it's probably over eight months now i believe i was one of the first people to do a review on love with food when it first came out then after that everyone started doing them but um definitely love the company and now i'm rambling so um thank you guys for watching definitely leave a comment down below let me know what you think and go ahead and get your free box i'll put the link in the description box love you guys bye